Hey guys, Will here, blogging at machinelevis.com. So what I'm going to do in this video is go through and move this um, work that I did in the last video in newsletter automation using data uh, that's stored in my AWS DynamoDB uh, collection and move it into a script. And that script, why I want to do that is because I'll eventually be able to turn that script into a Lambda and run it uh, automatically. And, and the code that we've constructed here in this notebook um, is a bit exploratory. And once you get it into a script-like fashion, um, then it becomes a little bit less of, you know, pseudocode, essentially like prototype code. So let's just dive into it. Um, I haven't done much of the work, uh, so that's what I'm gonna do in this video. And what I'm gonna do is essentially just copy, right now, copy and paste over this code uh, to, to a script that I will be able to run from the console. Okay, so here I'm importing everything I need to get this to work. Um, everything I need so that I can here, let me blow this up. Uh, everything that I need so I can contact the AWS database and uh, query articles that I've stored in there. Um, I set the conditions for the cutoff. I'm going to make it 30 days. Uh, so I'm finding recent articles with a minimum upvotes of, let's say, 20 um, in the past 30 days, and those will be candidates to use in the newsletter. Okay, so um, so all of this was just exploratory code. Now what I'm going to do is, instead of um, this big list thing that I had going, I'm going to turn this into a function. So in the IPython notebook, I was iterating over all of these subreddits, but um, uh, t -t 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 -t. let me just say articles, and this will take a sub. I'm going to turn this loop into a function. OK, so that um, I can pass any subreddit to it and get the articles back that I'm interested in. So this is just a script in my directory that I'll be able to call. So let's see. Um, I think everything else is fine. I'm just going to return the articles at the end. I also need to instantiate an empty list. Okay. So can do if name equals equals main at the bottom here. Okay, and then why don't I do the sub? It's going to be writer motivation because this is a writer's newsletter. Uh, let me call this function articles of interest. And so the articles that I'm going to get back are the articles of interest and pass in this sub. Okay, so then for art in articles, then I can print, uh, let's print the art.get title. Uh, I can print the art.get self text, which most of these should have. Art get ups. Okay, so then for my console here, it doesn't matter essentially where you put this, but I put this in product newsletter. So now I can quickly iterate over it. Okay, so that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Okay, so let's see, print. 
Now, there might be something wrong with my ingestion, which it looks like there is because I'm not getting anything back for this subreddit that meets those conditions, which are pretty loose. Let's try blogging as the subreddit. Okay. So 30, uh, let's see. Let's get a, an idea of how many articles I'm getting each time I run this. Nine for blogging. Okay. Um, okay. So let me separate these out. Maybe I don't need this self.txt. That's a lot of information. Okay. So these are the titles and these are the upvotes. Uh, that's a really long title. I don't know why. Oh, I only had, no, uh, I only have nine. So these are the nine titles and posts that I can potentially use for my newsletter. Okay. So I have all this data. Now I need to get it into a format that, that I can actually use in a newsletter. So what I'm going to do is I installed this little package, Summy, which is module for automatic summarization of text documents and HTML pages. It's kind of neat. Um, I've used it before. It takes an input. You can pass it uh, a string. And then what it will return for you is a summarization of that, uh, that input string. So I'm going to import this at the top. I've already pip installed it. Uh, and I'm just going essentially by the example here, except I'm going to be passing in um, plain text into this. Okay, so let's, let's talk about what's going on here. Well, I'll just do it see I'll just do it down here let's go back okay so it looks like if I set the threshold at 25 that'll cut down on some of these extra articles that I want so that's the minimum number of upvotes uh, for which I'll use to get articles all right and so I need for Summy, which uh, is able to summarize text, I need a language, which is English, and I need a sentences count just to say how many sentences should uh, the summarization be. Okay, so I'm going to set English and I'm going to use five sentences. And then what I'm gonna do, oh, I need, a, I need a parser. So I'm going to use the plain text parser from string and the string is going to be the article self text. So let's run this and then see what's going on. Okay, so this is going fast, but essentially what I'm doing is a lot of stuff from the last video just to get all of my articles that I'm going to use in this project. Now, I'm instantiating the same things over and over again in a for loop. I don't want to do that. That is inefficient. So I instantiate these outside of the for loop. Okay, and then the parser to the plain text parser, I pass the plain text of the self text of the article, and then I'm going to summarize that article. So what we should see here is the title and then a summarization. So, uh, so let's do that again. 
let's separate out the title so we can make sense of this. Okay, and then separate out different articles, each from the other, so that we can actually see what's going on. Okay, so this is content writing tips for new bloggers. Okay, so Summy isn't uh, isn't good in terms of, it's not content, you wouldn't want to use this as a spinner. You wouldn't want to just pass in a paragraph of text and have a perfect summarization that makes sense that you can just send to people. But Summy is good for um, giving you a bit of a feeling of what's in a blog post. So in blogging, month two blogging stats, this post I think is, is incredibly large, but this summarization that's just five sentences long that Summy produced um, really cut it down into something that um, I can go through now and, um, and evaluate what this article, what this Reddit post is about. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so what I wanna do is get this into um, a state of markdown. Okay, so I need to translate uh, these to markdown and then decide which subreddits I'm going to use for this newsletter. So, I do have a lot of different writing subreddits. Okay, I'm going to use writing tips, writing, writers, blogging, writer motivation. Let's see. Shut up and write. Okay, so that's how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, and self publish. Okay, so I've decided to use the following subreddits for this newsletter writing tips, writing, writers, blogging, writer motivation, shut up and write, and self publish. Okay, so now let me pull out, so all of this is good now. The summarization of the articles works. Um, we're able to see the title, we're able to see, um, we'll get other things about this that we'll need, which are uh, the URL. We'll wanna link this in the newsletter. So what to do next? I need to, what I want to do is output a, P, a text file that I will actually be able to um, turn into Markdown and then edit myself um, and condense down. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's change this to article summarization. I'm gonna make another function that takes text. Let's do, let's call this text summarization. Make it as broad as possible. Okay, so it takes in text, um, these stemmers, summarizers, and stop words will be up top They'll just be instantiated. We're doing a lot of instantiation of things just at the top level. Okay, so these are our conditions. Let me just make this bigger. Okay, all right. 
so articles of interest. Now we have text summarization. Okay, so what we do is we pass the text in and then we, okay, so the args to our function text it has to be a string, whatever it is. And it's gonna return a string. Okay, so that's the parse, <clears throat> that's the parser. Okay, so for sentence in parser document, um, we are going to have a response that's an empty quote. Um, so what we're gonna do is join the sentences together and then return the response. We might just be able to return the parser document itself. I'm not sure what the parser document is. I'd like to know. Parser document <clears throat> from some of you. I'm sure we don't, there's probably a way around having to join the sentences together and return that. Okay, so Okay, so now in this little script we have here, we should be able to get the same thing by just passing in text summarization, the article self text. Let's take a look. Okay, can only join an iterable. So no. Okay, okay, so plus equals. All right, so I figured out that um, we have this function now, text summarization, pass in text. We could use the summy plain text parser from string, pass the string, which is the text. And then um, join Actually, just concatenate the sentences together and return the response, which is the sentence of string. So that'll be great. Um, I'm able to see, get some summar summarizations of these uh, of these Reddit posts that meet my conditions to go into the newsletter. All right, so that is all well and good. Now. Now I want to format this into a text file uh, that's marked down that I can pass directly into an emailing API so that I could set up a draft email. All right, so how do I want to do that? I need to write this to, let's see. Let me see the the keys on my articles because I need some other things. I want to get the user. I want to attribute the user. I'm going to get the URL and the name and the author, I think. Keys. URL to link it author to reference the author. So let's see if this is everything I want. What's nice about this script, you can iterate it in real time. Okay, I got the URL and then the author. Great. So now I want to write this to a text file. Okay, so let's see. With open output.txt as text file. So let's, 
Let's try this. Okay, so writing all of the things that I've done uh, instead of just printing them out to the console, writing them to a text file, I will eventually become the draft email. So let's try that. Pip install markdown2. I don't want to install too many packages because I'm going to put this on a lambda. And the amount of information that I can put there is limited. But let's see what this does. Okay, so now import markdown. Markdowner. Instantiate that. Okay, so I'm using Summian Markdowner. Okay, so let's do this. So let's see if this works. Title equals that. Um, that's what I want to do. Markdowner.convert. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, let's take a look at output.txt. Okay, and it actually doesn't look so bad. I'm not sure actually why I need this markdowner thing. Maybe I don't, but Okay, so let's do a few other things. Let's just put the author in the strong markdowner.convert strong plus. Oh, wait, let me see. I don't need these. see oh I can just I can just put the correct mark down around it myself I don't need this package but <clears throat> right I don't need the package 
so I thought maybe I'd use a package to convert things to Markdown, but I can just do it myself. Um, and then the rest, let's see, the body is going to be this, but we're going to wrap it that in the paragraph flags. See what happens if I was to put this in an emailing client. I'm going to use a tiny letter. Uh, so let's see. What if I normal div? Does it have a way of? Okay, very cool. Okay, so I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. But what we we were able to do is to generate some markdown. We pulled from Reddit uh, these texts that we've been, been collecting in a database. We summarized them with Summy. Uh, we parsed them and then now I'm able to take this text file that I can generate that we can put on a Lambda in that next video and then um, essentially generate this newsletter uh, that we're going to be using. Of course, you wouldn't do something like just send this out. This needs to like be picked through. Summy is not an article spinner. It's not human intelligence. I also have some weird formatting things going on. Um, so there's definitely things to do but this is starting to look good. So thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe, and I will talk to you later.